Good morning or good afternoon year 10, depending on when you are watching this video. My name's Georgia um, and I'm the External Partnerships and Events Coordinator at the City of Stoke-on-Trent Sixth Form College. Now I've just got some information with you that you can be thinking about over summer before you enter year 11. Year 11 will go extremely quickly for you, so it is important that you do start thinking now about what your next steps are going to be. So I have got some top tips for you. What I'm going to do is share a short presentation with you. Okay, so I have got six top tips for you to have a think about over summer because like I say, year 11 will come round quicker than you think. So the first thing that you can be thinking about is researching colleges, courses and the subjects that you could potentially be interested in in studying at college. So in terms of the different options that you've got after school, there are four different pathways that you can consider. So the first one is an academic pathway. So these would be classed as A-levels. The majority of students do three or four A-levels. Some colleges will only let you do three A-levels. However, it is important that you do your research to find out which institutions offer what. A-levels are really good if you are quite academic, if you're good in a classroom environment, if you're on target for high grades in your GCSEs, then maybe consider studying A-levels and academic pathway as one of your options. There are also vocational courses that you can study. So these are mainly BTEC courses. They are very practical. There's always lots of coursework involved in them, so it is always worth having a look at that if you are more of a practical learner. Now, there is something new called T-levels that we have started running this year. So T-levels are the opposite to what an apprenticeship is. So you will spend four days in the classroom and then one day in an industry placement. The industry placement does count towards your final grades at the end of the two-year course. You've also got apprenticeships as well. Now, I'm sure you already know what apprenticeships are, but for anyone that doesn't, that is where you're employed by someone. So you will go to work for four days a week and then you will do your qualification with either a college or a training provider for one day. Now, at the Sixth Form College, we offer academic courses, so A-levels, vocational courses, which are BTECs, and also T-levels. At the sixth form, you can combine A-levels and BTECs, and we are one of the only providers in the area that where you can do where you can do that. At the college, we have pathways. Now, the reason we work in pathways is to help students choose a particular pathway that they could be interested in. So there are lots and lots of opportunities out there, lots of different career paths that you can take. So this is just to help and guide you into options that you can consider. So we have six different progression pathways at the college and they're listed in front of you there. Now, these are all the different courses that we offer at the college. So, as you can see, there are a lot more courses here than what you are studying at GCSEs. So, we've got the list of all the A-levels, the vocational courses, and we do have the Level 3 Foundation courses as well. So, all of our courses are two-year courses. So, it isn't that you study something for one year and gain a qualification. The majority of our courses, you will study for two years. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't achieve the GCSE grades that you were hoping for, there is an option of resetting these at college, and that is called the Level 3 Foundation Programme. More information can be found on the website, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Now, this is probably a really important slide because although you may have a good idea of what you're wanting to study, you need to take into consideration your ability and what your GCSE grades are potentially going to be. So these would be your predicted grades and target grades. Now, it is always important to consider what your target grades are because you want to make sure that you are able to achieve your goals. So if you are looking to study a level three program, you ideally need to be getting a minimum of five fives, including your English and maths. 
Now, your English, Maths and your Science are your most important GCSE grades. With these grades in these subjects, and you get high grades in them, you can pretty much study any one of the subjects that you saw on the previous slide. Now, you're all currently working on a Level 2 programme of study. And the idea is that you want to progress straight on to Level 3. So it is important that you are doing your best in your GCSEs. You're doing all of the work you can to make sure you achieve the best possible grades. Now, target grades and predicted grades are extremely important but just because for example your target grade is a five there is no reason why between now and when you potentially sit your exams next summer you can't achieve or aim for getting a grade six or seven so it is important that you are one realistic but do try your absolute hardest because your GCSEs do set you up for your next steps and the rest of your lives. Now, the next thing you can do is take a virtual 360 tour of our college. So obviously during the COVID-19 pandemic, we haven't been able to hold any open events and we're unsure when we're gonna be able to hold um, large scale events again. So in, if you haven't been to the building yet, I know some of you should have been attending Step Into Sixth Form next week. It is important to have a look around the college. So although you can't come in the building, we have a 360 tour for you to have a look at. And I've attached it in to this presentation, but it is on our YouTube channel. So all you need to do is just click on the link and you will have a 360 tour. So you can use the navigation bar to look up and down and behind you. So it's as if you're wearing um, VR goggles if you've got them at home, for example. So this is an example of what the college would look like. So I won't play it all now. You can go and watch that in your own time. So the next thing you can do is look on the college's website. So the college's website is the place where you will get all of the most up-to-date information about the courses, support available, case studies. I'm just going to show you a short video now of different things that you can see on the college's website and how you access it. So all you need to do to visit the college's website, click the URL, so www.stokesfc.ac.uk and then using the menu tab at the side, you can select the courses that you're interested in. So as you can see, we've clicked on our courses and this will give you the selection to choose a progression pathway, the different levels of courses. So you can select these or you can just have a look down the list and research the different courses you could potentially be interested in. So we clicked on A-Level Dance. As you can see, there is a course overview. There are find your feet tasks for current year 11s. There's course topics, course features. So this includes the assessment grades as well what the results were in a specific year um, and there's also information around what you can go on to do next as well. Something else that you can have a look at on the website so you can go on to the results of last year. So if you're really interested in kind of statistics, then feel free to have a look at the results from last year and the Ofsted information as well. You can also have a look at student success stories. So these are students that have left us in the last couple of years and what they've gone on to do next. So David, for example, um, he was from Elaine's High School and he's gone on to study at Oxford. Students can also have a look at the different facilities that we've got as well. So one of the main facilities that we use and have got labs in is the, um, is the Science Centre, sorry. There's also information about frequently asked questions. So it's always worth having a look at what common questions are asked. As it stands, these are geared towards current year 11s who are looking to enrol in September, but it's always worth keeping an eye on them. 
There's also lots of support available at the college, including financial support. So that's bus passes, um, travel support with free school meals. All the information around support is also on the website. There's also lots of news and events that you can have a look at and probably the most important page is about how you can contact us. So if you have got any questions that we haven't been able to answer on the website, then please do feel free to get in touch. Okay. The next tip that I've got for you is it is important that you talk to people. It's important that you are making these decisions for you. Talk to your parents to see what they suggest in terms of the courses and maybe your ability to study particular courses. Have a look at the different colleges and training providers that are around you as well. So even though today I'm talking about the Sixth Form College, we know that the Sixth Form College may not be the right institution for everyone. So it is important that you talk to people and gain other people's experiences to help make your decisions. So maybe talk to your older brothers and sisters, for example. Current Year 11 students, they are currently going through this now. The majority of Year 11s have made their applications and are waiting on their results. So it is important that do get the advice from them because they are the ones that are going through this experience now. Speak to your teachers and see what they think. See if they think that you could potentially study a subject at A-level. They may have a little bit of information about what it's like to study that particular subject at college as well. And also speak to your careers advisors. Most importantly, do come and talk to us. Although at the minute we aren't allowed to have visitors in the building, there are still ways of communicating just like I'm doing now. So please feel free to email us. You can speak to us on our social media pages. Um, just get in touch. And if you have got any burning questions that you want answering over summit, then we are here to help. The next thing that I would advise is that follow us on our social media pages. So at the minute, we are really active on social media. So we have Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. And some of our curriculum areas also have their own social media platforms as well, which is more specific. For the current year 11s, we did a virtual Find Your Feet event that took place a couple of weeks ago. All of those sessions are on our YouTube channel, so it is worth having a look at what our students get up to, the different types of things that we do day to day, to make to see if this could be potentially the right college for you to join. And finally, the last thing to remember is that this is your journey. Now, it is important that you are making these decisions for you. Yes, you're going to have the opinions of other people, but you need to make these decisions because it is where you're going to spend the next two, maybe three years of your education journey. Now, these are just some of the things that you can get involved in if you decide to study at the Sixth Form College. So we run international visits. As it stands with the current situation with COVID-19, these it trips aren't going on, but hopefully we will be able to continue these visits once we are out of lockdown and it is safe to do so. We also have lots of different clubs and societies you can get involved in. So if you are already part of a club or team in school and you want to continue those kinds of activities, you can do that when you get to college or you can try something completely new as well. There are lots of opportunities for you to develop as individuals. Have a go at something new. Meet students that aren't potentially in your classroom. You've got to remember that there are lots of year 11s um, all over the city in this position now. So when you get into year 11, there are gonna be lots of other students in exactly the same position as you, researching and looking as to which institution is going to be right for them. There are lots of different programmes, again, that you can be a part of at the Sixth Form College. So we have a High Achievers programme and HE Plus programme. So this is for students who are maybe aspiring to go to maybe a Russell Group University like Oxford or Cambridge. If you're interested in medicine, veterinary and dentistry, then there is a specific programme for you that is tailor-made. We also have the same type of programme for talented athletes and we have a junior scholarship elite programme and that's run in partnership with staff to 
university. So if you play sport competitively at a high level, then it is worth having a look um, at this programme because we can make sure that your timetable is tailored around your training sessions to make sure you're doing what, you're lo what you love, but you're also gaining the qualifications as well. And the last one is a, the Futures programme. So this is to help students with their progression. Every student is a part of the Futures programme because we want to make sure that while you're spending your time at college, you are thinking about your next steps and you progress maybe onto university and apprenticeship, employment, or maybe go and travel the world when we're allowed to again. The final little bit of information from me, over the summer, you need to start thinking like a year 11 student. You will have lots of work and don't get me wrong, year 11 will be very intense because your exams and you sitting GCSEs are the most important thing about year 11. But you do have to start thinking about your next steps. So applications to the sixth form college are likely to open from October. So when you start college in, uh, when you start year 11 sorry in September you will have a good kind of three or four weeks to do a little bit of research before you have to start thinking about what what subjects what colleges you want to apply for and that's why I'm doing this video now to give you a, a bit of a head start start having a look now over summer about what your options are I'm going to talk you through a little bit about the application process because at the minute it is a little bit different than how we usually do things and we don't know because of the pandemic we don't know when we will go back to normal as it is. So when you make an application, it is an online application via the college's website. There is a video how to do so on our YouTube channel. It is important that you don't apply until we say that our application is open and that information will be on the website. So once you make your application to the college, you will then receive information about a first course discussion. Now that is information about giving you the opportunity to speak to a member of the interview team about the courses you're interested in studying. Once you've had a first course discussion, you'll be given a conditional place at the sixth form college. You can swap and change your mind about the courses you want to study as many times as you want. We will also send you lots of information throughout the year about the courses you're interested in, give you information about staff that could potentially teach you and information about events um, that we hold at the college. So you get a bit of a taste of college life as well. We would hope that by October, we will be able to invite you to open events and a Find Your Feet experience, which usually takes place in June. As I've already said this year, we haven't been able to do Find Your Feet in the building, but we have done a virtual Find Your Feet. So hopefully we will prepare you as best we can to start with us um, next September. When you're applying to college, do bear in mind that you can apply to more than one college. You don't have to make your decision about what college you want to study at until GCSE results day. So you have got lots of time to make those decisions and firm up those decisions. It is always important to have a plan B as well. So for example, if you wanted or wanting to do an apprenticeship always apply for a college course as well, just in case you don't get that apprenticeship. Now, the final thing from me that I want to say is that I hope you have a lovely summer. Please do stay safe and continue to follow government guidance. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Hopefully, we will be able to come into schools and help you with applications. We'll be able to do assemblies. But because we don't know what the situation is going to be in September, we are going to take every day as it comes. But please remember that do start thinking like a year 11 because year 11 is important and it does set you up for the rest of your lives. I look forward to meeting you all. I hope you stay safe, are well, and we'll see you soon. Bye.